why do I do photography and why am I on YouTube? Let's talk about that. So, hi and welcome to my channel. Um, I thought I'd take a moment to talk about two whys. First one is why I'm on YouTube and the second one is um, why I do photography. So, to start, YouTube. Well, uh, I have a passion for photography and I love doing it. Uh, and I love talking about photography. So, um, instead of boring my wife and my co workers with my endless babbling about exposure times, uh, sharpness, color, Photoshop, Lightroom, road trips, everything concerning photography i thought i'd bore the entire internet instead to hell and back and i want to break out of my turtle shell and show myself off to the world and get some exposure on my photography and kind of expand my own brand so to speak and go beyond just instagram and a single web page link down below in the in the description and as i mentioned in earlier videos i'm also an introvert so this youtube thing is a great way of getting some sort of exercise in talking to people, to you behind the screen, and grow as a person. I get to do a lot more than just talk. Um, writing scripts is a lot of fun. When I'm stuck in my writing of the second novel, I can always write a short script or something in my diary just to get the writing juices flowing i also get to learn how to edit videos in davinci on my pc and uh, luma fusion on my my phone uh, if you haven't got luma fusion on your android get it it's a great little app to edit videos uh, but most of all the most fun thing about being on youtube is as so many of you other guys on youtube is to we can we get to contribute with our experience and knowledge to to the world at the same time we can learn from others and grow as photographers um, and besides it's it's just really fun to watch other people talk about photography especially street photography since um, you get to see other cities without traveling to them uh, even though i love to travel but Traveling is expensive. Now, to the most fun part of this video, at least to me, I get to talk about myself and why I do photography. So yeah, why do I do it? Why do I strap a camera around my neck and go out and do photography? Well, I come from a small town in the north of Sweden called Kalix. And in that town, we had about, was it 15,000 people, I guess, when I grew up? Around that number. I'm not exactly sure. And um, living in that small town, you either played soccer, ice hockey, or a strange sport called bandy, um, which is basically hockey with a curved stick stick and an orange ball played on a icy soccer field with uh, well i don't know or you got to the pub and got drunk every weekend i didn't do those things i was a geek um, i loved star wars i've seen those movies about a thousand times the only three and um, i used to read comic books wishing to be a superhero like spider-man and um, played a lot of video games with my fellow nerd friends so yeah what to do what to do 
I was always intrigued by Spider-Man. I always loved that comic book. And I can't wait to see the, the Spider-Man Noir series on Amazon Prime with, with Nicolas Cage. But anyway, I knew I couldn't be a superhero. So, um, what to do? Uh, well, Peter Parker was cool. He did photography. And we had a camera in the family. So I picked that camera up and started doing photography. And it was a lot of fun. And when I got my own camera, like this one, um, for Christmas, when I was a kid, um, I think that was the starting point of, of everything for me. Um, even though we couldn't do as much photography as I wanted, since it was very expensive to develop film for that thing. So photography has always kind of been with me. And um, it has given me a lot too. It helped me through um, depression. Um, when I was depressed, I got a camera and started taking walks, taking photographs of, of the town where I lived in, in Haparanda, also a small town in the north of Sweden, on the border to Finland. So that got me out of a, um, depression and exhaustion from work, overwork, uh, underpaid overwork. And um, so photography has taken me, saved me from a lot of bad times and thrown me into a lot of good times. Uh, since I love meeting people when I'm out doing photography, it's fun to talk to people. And it's fun when people come up to me and, and um, ask questions about what I do and want to see my, my photographs. And, and so nowadays, uh, I use photography, not use, it sort of a, became a vent for me. Um, when there's been a rough week at work, I love to take the camera out for a walk in the weekend, do a road trip, uh, with my wife doing photography and it's also a great way to express myself as an introvert since a lot of me is baked into to the photographs that I take and show the world um, so it's a fun and easy way to challenge my my introvert side uh, and if you're an introvert and you're stuck and you don't want to don't know what to do to get out there. I encourage you, get a camera, go out, do street photography, shoot what's around you, where you live, in the neighborhood, whatever. It's a great way to, to get out there and learn how to talk to people. At least for me. But I haven't always been an introvert. Um, I became an introvert when I got depressed and crashed, hit my head. The, ran through a wall at work. So that's where I became an introvert. And, and uh, photography got me out of the couch and out of the apartment and out in the world. So yeah, photography is a great way to, to, to meet people and, and um, express yourself if you're an introvert. And besides, it's fun to talk to other photographers too and, and learn from them and watch what they show in exhibits. And uh, it's a great way to learn about people. And now I'm just rambling. Um, people in other parts of the world and other cultures. Um, since I'm all for this multicultural thing, which some people hate unfortunately. But culture is an ever-evolving thing and it should never stop evolve and progress and just continue evolving. <laughs> anyway, thank you for listening, me, li listening to me rambling about myself for a minute or ten. Um, next time I'll talk about something else. Bye for now.